Morning, good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing wonderful. I hope you all are doing great. Uh, I hope that the spirit of the Lord is with you this morning. Um, I hope you're feeling loving. I hope you're feeling encouraged. I hope you're feeling peaceful and ready to just start your new week. Today is Monday, so guess what? As we always say, it's a new week, so it's a new opportunity to give God glory, give Him all the praise. It's an opportunity to make the right choices and do the right thing. It is another opportunity to be all that God has called you to be. So, let's get this thing going. Today, we're talking about Palm Sunday. Yesterday, we celebrated Palm Sunday. What's Palm Sunday, Reverend Travis? Palm Sunday is the day that Jesus came into the city for Passover. He came into the city uh, knowing that at the end of the week, this is the day that this is the day that he knew that he was coming to the end of his ministry. Uh, he was entering into the gates of Jerusalem, riding on a donkey, and the uh, particular scripture that gives us this uh, uh, this imagery of what was going on, uh, Matthew 21, verse 1 and 2. I want to talk about this very thing about God can use you too. God can use you too. Let's look at the text. Now, when they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village opposite of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied in a coat with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say the Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. Wow. What that text tells me is that God can use anything and anybody that he needs to use. We've been talking about visions. We've been talking about um, um, what God has called you to do and your purpose for you. And you have to understand that sometimes people will try to uh, discourage you and tell you that you aren't worthy enough or you can't do something or you aren't able to do or you're young, you're too young, you're too old, all these different things. But you have to understand if God can use a donkey, he can use you. I know you're like, well, he used a donkey. What's so good about that? Let me tell you something. The donkey is the less of a horse or species. In, in other words, you know, you have a bronco, you have a stallion, you have those tall horses with the nice manes and tails hanging down, but a donkey looks kind of rough sometimes. Matter of fact, if the teachers can show, if anybody can show you a picture of a donkey, if you can look up a picture of a donkey, you'll see that a donkey isn't all that big. It isn't all that, doesn't look to be all that. Jesus use a donkey to ride into the, the the city of Jerusalem to make his triumphant entrance as it's called and that's what I want you to understand is that God can use you to do anything he can use you to bring his himself into the world he can use you to spread his gospel in other words he can use you to uh, talk about him and let others know who he is in your life he can use anybody who's watching this. I know some may say, well, you, you wouldn't understand because I've been told this, I've been told that, I don't have the education for this, I don't have this, I don't have that. God says, listen, if anybody has something to say, tell them I need you. So if anybody tells you you can't do something, tell them that the Lord needs you. And there's nothing else they can say or do. God's gonna use you. And he's going to use you as long as you make yourself available to him. So make that decision today to allow God to use you in ways that you've never thought nor imagined. God bless you all. This has been another wonderful moment with you. I hope you guys enjoy. God loves you and so do I.